Welcome, my beautiful souls. Uh, today we are going to do a love reading. Nothing but love. Um, I'm really thinking that it's going to be more for future love, you know, however that may be. That could that could certainly be someone from the past, but if it is someone from the past, then they would be in a higher vibrational energy. Um, but, you know, I don't want to put any any energy on what it needs to be and let's just let it be whatever it wants to be so we will use mother mary for her beautiful words of wisdom i'm going to use um i'm going to take cards at the end of the reading from mother mary um i'm using the universal tarot to do clarifying this time which is different for me i usually use the gilded tarot but something is telling me to use the um, Universal Tarot. By the way, I just did a quick little reading for next week, and this is the the deck that I use. So that's why I want to use them again. We are going to use the Romance Angels. The Romance Angels are going to be the main spread, um, which I don't do very often. But again, nothing but love. All right. So let's slide these over. Let's give these a cut. By the way, everything is always pre-shuffled. And, um, you know, I have a lot of love readings out there right now. I just did a twin flame reading, which, and when I do twin flame reading, I'm reading for both the divine masculine and the divine feminine, and then I'm connecting them. I thought it, I thought it was quite beautiful. Um, what else did I do? Hmm. There's a, there's, oh, pick a card reading, and it was all about love. Uh, not that I made it be about love, it's just how it turned out. And um, I don't know, there's a few other ones out there. You know, oh, I just cut them. Use the playlist that I have, like the library. And, you know, what I recommend is sometimes just going through the playlist and see if anything jumps out to you. Because, you know, your guides may have another reading also in store for you. But, of course, that's up to you. Let's go ahead and bring the lid down. And let's begin. Well, hello. True love. Number one. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. So, right off the bat, we're talking about true love. No wonder I felt guided to do a love reading. Okay. I, I'll accept that. We have, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Interesting. Now, I don't feel like it's about this person, whoever this person's going to be. This could certainly talk about, like, current energy. You know, like, current energy is trying to guide you, um, maybe to your true love. You know, the red flags could certainly talk about um, someone you're dealing with now. And I feel like just as humans, you know, a lot of times we don't pay attention to the red flags um, I know I haven't at certain times, and then you find yourself in a certain situation. It's like, how did I get here? And your spirit guides are like, we tried to tell you, but that's okay. There's no judgment. Um, it just simply means that you're being guided both on, you know, what's divine for you, but also maybe what's not so divine for you. All right. So we have chemistry mirroring true love. Chemistry. There's a strong mag magnetic attraction here. Okay, I can't wait to see what comes under. Whoa. Um, pay attention to the red flags. We're going to take what's face up first. And we have very soon, very soon, right under true love. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Clearly decide what you want. So it comes to you now, very soon, true love. 
chemistry is probably going to be the clue. All right, we have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visual visualizations. <laughs> I have a hard time saying that word. Help bring you together. You know, interesting that it's coming right next to very soon where it's saying clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Um, and then your prayers are being heard to help bring you together. For some of you, you may have given someone else a title of a soulmate, twin flame. Um, you know, maybe you, you thought they were the only person that could love you. But that's not true, you know. It just, well, I shouldn't say that, but it doesn't feel like it's true to me. All right. We have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Finances and career. Financial issues are in fact are a factor in your love life right now. I have a feeling this ties back to the red flags. Some of you may be with someone and it could certainly be a financial issue why you choose to stay. And I'm talking about if a relationship, you know, or a connection that you have is not, mm, you know, if someone's holding back. Because, again, true love, very soon, you're calling in your soulmate. There will be chemistry. So I feel like the only two energies that I guess we could say have a negative nature are pay attention to the red flags and then finances and career. So it makes me just feel that some may stay, let's say, in a connection Maybe due to finances, which I totally get. But let's keep going. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Coming under calling in your soulmate. And then last but not least. Some, someone from your past is returning. Someone from your past is returning. But this talks about getting back together. So for some of you, I mean, literally, someone from your past really is your soulmate. Someone from your past really is your true mate, your true love. Um, again, chemistry, I, I just get a feeling would be off the chart. I feel like your prayers are definitely being answered. And, you know, again, paying attention to the red flags. Um... Let's say you have two people coming towards you. Well, this is where your guides will try to make it very clear to you. Like, okay, this one's, this one can definitely enhance your life. This one can definitely deplete your life. What are you going to choose? Let's slide these up. And um, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. It is safe for you to love. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Wow. You know, and pay attention to the red flags. I feel like in a way, it should give you a little bit of comfort knowing that your guides are that involved in your love life. The divine is involved in your love life. Um, you know, and I feel like what it's saying with give your relationship a chance. So someone, let's say someone is going to contact you or come back. Um, and again, maybe you've been dealing with someone where, you know, maybe finances again, maybe I stay or I, or I had stayed because of financial issues, you know, will I be okay on my own? Well, first of all, I feel like you won't be on your own, um, not for long, because again, true love very soon. Calling in your soulmate means that 
Your guides are listening to you. And, you know, sometimes we have to kiss a lot of frogs to find that prince or that princess. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring in the universal tarot. Give it one more shuffle. And let's go deeper. Let's give him a cut, introduce him into the reading. All right. So we're going to look at true love. We're really reading, we're, when I take clarifiers, I'm really reading um, the whole reading as a whole. Did, did that make sense? Look at this. The wheel. Destiny. You know, I feel like what this is saying is it's time. Like the wheel has stopped on your true love. Are you going to jump on the wheel with this with this person? You know, I love that destiny just came over true love. So I feel like this means that this can be a love really of your, you know, of your life, or at least for the rest of your life. It has that potential. And I say potential because you do have free will. Um You know, I almost feel like even if I have like a little fear that probably is related to either a current situation or a past situation, I feel like very easily you're going to be able to let that go. Now, you may not know that until it actually happens. Look at this, the Ten of Swords coming over. Pay attention to the red flags. Well, that makes sense. This can talk about a repeat pattern with someone. By the way, someone from your past is returning to your life. I don't feel like it's this energy. This is someone who's put dagger after dagger in your back. Um, but I often feel it's a repeat pattern also. So I do need to know that. And I feel like your guide just saying, well, we did send you the red flags. Okay. Interesting, and that person really is face up. So I see these daggers coming. You know, it's almost like the energy of I expect bad things to happen. And I'll be damned, they do. So what if I turn that around? What if I expect good things to happen? Not with this person, because I feel like this person has shown you their true colors. I feel like this person... Even if I did give him another chance, um, and I do not think it's this true love. I shouldn't say I don't think. I know. I can feel it. Um, but what was I saying? You know, and I feel like that also ties back to finances and career. Hmm. I guess what I would ask you to ask yourself is, do you feel that you've been in a repeat pattern with someone and then it keeps ending up in, in, a, in, in a very difficult place, you know, where you're taking these daggers? It is you taking them. You're not giving them. You're taking them. We have King of Cups. This can be a Cancer, Virgo, or Cancer, Virgo, what am I saying? Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, I just did a special little reading for Scorpio for their birthday. And um, at the end of the reading, a lot of love came out. It was really quite beautiful. Um, and so much more. And by the way, I don't feel like you have to be a Scorpio to watch you know, different signs, readings, because I feel like we're a little bit of everything anyway. But anyways, look at this guy. He's holding this cup. It's like he's ready and he's like ready to get out of his seat. 
it's almost like he's waiting on divine timing. Coming over chemistry. And by the way, this does not have to be a water sign. It just means that this is someone who is ready to love. If he was in reverse, then I would say the opposite. I'd probably tell you to run. But again, your guides are being very clear that if, again, anything negative that's coming your way, um, the signs will be there. But this is coming over chemistry. And this king is mirroring the wheel. And then look at this. Hello, Ace of Cups. Right over very soon. So clearly decide what you want in love. So that it comes to you now. You know, this is really unconditional love. So for some of you, this could certainly talk about, again, someone of your past. But there would be loving memories of this person. I don't, there's no way um, that the person who was putting dagger after dagger in your back, it, there's no way it's the same person. I just feel it that strongly. But if, if love is what I'm looking for, wow. I mean, hello coming over or coming under the wheel, which is your destiny, under true love, and over very soon. Hello, wheel, and the ace together. To me, that's a beautiful omen. You know, we probably have loved in other lifetimes. Because the Ace of Cups to me is really unconditional love, but it can certainly represent, um, well, that card almost went over. It can certainly represent, you know, love that really never dies. Hello, Two of Cups. So, literally coming over, calling in your soulmate, and here is your soulmate. Wow. Right next to the Ace of Cups. I mean, if you're looking for a soulmate, you're looking for your true love. I feel like, first of all, I do have to deal with that Ten of Swords. You know, those swords, those daggers, you know, they're just, they're, they're pain. They hurt you over and over again. And even if I give someone, you know, multiple chances... It keeps going to the same place, which is difficult for you. This is about what's new. This is about what's next. You know, this is probably, not probably, but the one that you're really meant to, I feel like, spend the rest of your life with. Calling in your soulmate, and then the soulmate comes out right over it. Right next to that Ace of Cups. All sitting upon your wheel. All part of your destiny. We have the Seven of Cups. Well, wow. okay. So that puts the ball in your court. That means that ultimately you're going to make that decision. It's interesting because this king is holding a cup. And in the seven of cups, they're all cups. But I, I could be a little fearful, right? Especially if I've been dealing with a repeat pattern. If I've been dealing with love that just kept going wrong. Yeah, I could see where it could be a little difficult then to trust. Like put my complete trust in what's next um and for that energy i'd recommend taking it slowly you know not turning it down of course it's up to you but taking it slowly i do find it interesting that that king is holding a cup he's getting ready to get out of his seat look what followed him is that cup and then the ball being put in your court What do I do? What do I do? I feel like, first of all, again, it is the chemistry that I feel is going to give you the clue. You 
you know, and someone from your past is returning to your life doesn't always mean that you were in a romantic relationship with this person. Could have been an old friend that maybe you never thought of. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like this is the energy where I just want to be open to the possibilities and then make a decision. Calling in your soulmate and then boom, your soulmate comes out. It's go time. So Ace of Wands, it's inspired action. So what that means is your guides are pointing the direction to you. You know, this is, I do feel like with this Ace, this is an Ace we need to reach out and accept. You know, I feel like this Ace carries desire, passion, it's definitely action oriented. It's coming below another ace, the ace of cups, and it's coming below the wheel, your destiny. Now, it's coming over finances and career. So some of you may be saying goodbye to whoever kept putting daggers in your back, like, no, nah, no more. And then, hello, beautiful son. Uh, first of all, this is the ruler of Leo. But this is really your illuminator. And that's what your guides do for you. They illuminate your steps for you. You know, but again, like those red flags doesn't mean we always pay attention to it. And our guides know that. So they'll keep sending us the signs. Sometimes they'll make them so big that we can't deny them any longer. This is illuminating really everything for you but the sun to me really is about uh, like fresh new start you know the sun comes out tomorrow that you can count on it's to me playful energy i feel like also if part of my fear may be like how do i know how do i know that i can trust again well what's ever done in the dark when the sun comes out will come to the light. And the sun's right under the soulmates, right next to the Ace of Wands. What a beautiful path it feels like you're about to walk down. Eight of Wands. Fast-moving energy. Interesting how I just said, if you have any worry, take it slow. But this is fast-moving. You know, I don't know how it couldn't move fast with all this beautiful energy. Um, can also be what I think about, I bring about. You know how I said in the Ten of Swords, I expect a dagger to happen, and I'll be damned a dagger happens. What if I change that to, I expect good things to happen? First of all, first of all I feel like I've got to deal with this, the, the Ten of Swords. I've got to deal with that. Even if it means, you know, let's say I've been staying with someone because financially I don't know if I can make it on my own. Well, I feel like your guides are going to help you. Plus, there's going to be someone else in your life that I don't know how you won't then be connected for the rest of your life. Like I like it just feels that way to me. I feel like this is also you saying yes. Um, but I do want to remind you that this is the energy of what I think about, I bring about. You may have been thinking about someone of your past while you were going through something pretty difficult. They may have also been thinking about you. And it just feels like divine. Well, it, it is your destiny. And it just feels like divine is getting you ready. Getting you ready. Um, all right. I want to come back up for a second. And I just want to look at, what do I want to look at? 
I'm thinking to myself, I want to look at the Ten of Swords. But then part of me is like, why do I want to look at that? We already know what that is. Why talk, you know, why bring any, any negativity to the reading? Um, because really the Ten is about allowing that to end. And again, finances, I feel like, are probably a part of it. But I don't feel like you're going to be alone for long. I mean, I just love this line. Your destiny. This beautiful Ace of Cups, unconditional love that is right next to your soulmate. And then the Ace of Wands feels to me like you're saying yes. You know, Seven of Cups is where the ball is, is in your court. But I do feel like this is you saying yes. And some of you, as you were going through difficult times, there may have just been someone in, on your heart, you know, in your mind, even in your dreams. But I feel it's probably the same way for both of you. Like you're both, you know, maybe both of you are dealing with this Ten of Swords energy, dealing with someone who, you know, doesn't care, doesn't care you know, whether they're hurting me or not. And that clearly they are. Clearly they are. So why do I, why do I want to continue with that? Now, I do know for some of you, it's, it's because, you know, first of all, it, finance is a career it reminds me of the five of pentacles. And, you know, any change can feel difficult in the moment. But then as you start to move along, or let's say this energy starts moving towards you, you know, I feel like this is such strong energy. You're probably going to feel it before it even arrives. Hmm. Okay, with all that being said, I don't even want to look at the, eight, the Ten of Swords now. Let's just see if anything else wants to come out. You know, it seems so simple, right? Like true love. It's part of your destiny. And true love means real love. It's coming soon. And it has the Ace of Cups over it, right? But it is asking you to clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. I feel like that's what you've been doing in the Eight of Wands. I do feel like you've been thinking about someone. And I have a feeling they've been thinking about you. If I just go straight up, you know, the Eight of Wands, what I think about, I bring about. Well, there is a soulmate. And there you are calling in your soulmate. And that soulmate is landing also on true love, which again is connected to your wheel. The star, your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. But in the star's energy, you know, I feel like I need to remind people sometimes, even myself, that we're working hand in hand with divine to bring about our dreams, our wishes. You know, it's not magic. It's us. Well, maybe thinking about someone, even during the difficult times, I feel like my mind travels back. My heart travels back. But this feels like, this just feels perfect. It feels like the perfect energy. Um, it is a card of Aquarius, by the way. Let's see if anything else wants to come out. You know, I get a feeling that there's a few of you who may be thinking that there is someone from your past that, you know, maybe I haven't, I, I really haven't let go of, so to speak. Now, I do feel like, you know, you went on, you lived your life, you probably were with someone else. Um, and I feel like the last person you were with, I feel like that's the person who probably had put these swords in you. Um, but again, over and over. So 
I feel like there's no other way to look at it except as a repeat pattern. And it has to be me that breaks that pattern. Why? Well, because it feels like that person who puts the daggers in you is the lower vibrational energy. So they may be thinking, well, why do I need to change? Right? I like my life the way it is. Well, of course I do, because in a way it feels like they're getting everything they want. But I also want to remind you that there is a thing called karma and um, you don't need to worry about it. Divine will take care of it. You know what I mean? I feel like for those who have no problem, you know, hurting others and not being sorry about it. Well, they are creating their own karma. But look what's happening for you. So shame on them. You know what I mean? So I do feel like there is a need to release myself from that energy. And um, to me, that means that you're ready. That feels like divine timing to me. You know, this the, with the star here, this must be something that the majority of you have been thinking about anyways. You know, I feel like I'm not telling you anything you don't already know, so to speak. Um, though I also have to say, when I see the soulmates with the wheel, you know, you probably have past lives together also. And sometimes I feel soulmates, true love soulmates that really are meant to last. They have to go through their own experiences, you know, because our soul came into this lifetime this physical plane to learn, to grow, to expand. And the difficult lessons, I feel like, are what teach us the most. Listen, I feel like who's ever in that energy, as you decide no more, I feel like very quickly you're just going to forget about that. I don't feel like it's energy that's going to be, that it's going to hang on to you because I feel like you are now entering into true love. But I do feel like for some of you, it is going to take a change, you know, like the change of saying no more or understanding, even if we're like financially connected, that sometimes it's worth losing a little money are losing some material things to gain, you know, beautiful love, but not just love, harmony, joy. You know, the sun is out, laughter, playfulness, everything I feel like some of you have been lacking. It's on the table now. Page of Cups. So, interesting with the King of Cups. And this could certainly talk about the king's younger energy. I'm saying the king. King can be a female or male. Um, because remember, we're both masculine and feminine energy. But with this page so close to someone returning to your life, it does feel like younger energy. And it does kind of feel like for some of you, you probably did love them. Um, doesn't even have to mean romantically. But I feel like I was a page. I'm now a king. So I have evolved. This person has evolved. Oh, I know what I was going to say that, I don't know, my mind got distracted. Um, I feel like for some of you, maybe a little bit of the issue is because I haven't seen you in a long time and now we're older, will you still find me? attractive will you still feel chemistry the answer is yes because love is more than looks you know what i mean it's more than looks and i get that energy because you know the one thing with sam and i the reason it took so long for us to come into union was because we knew each other as teenagers and then i was 50 
in my 50s when um, out of the blue, he called me. And it is one of the things I thought about, like, oh, my God, we're 50 now. We're not teenagers any anymore. Um, so that's where my worry was, you know, like, oh, my gosh, if, if I do, because he kept asking me to move in with them. And I kept thinking, oh, my gosh, if I do that, does that mean I have to wear makeup every day? fix my hair every day, and I'm a Virgo son. I don't really want to do that. You know, I work from home. Why do I want to put makeup on? You know, I'm just one of those people who doesn't really love wearing makeup. Um, and it's such a silly little thing, right? But it is what stopped me from moving sooner versus later. Now, I don't regret it because, um, you know, we had a long distance relationship on the phone for like five years and we got to know each other again. We got to know each other again. And now we are in union. And by the way, I barely ever wear makeup and it doesn't affect our relationship one way or another. So that fear that I had was just my fear. You know what I mean? Um, and, and the only reason I'm talking about that is because I feel like there's a few out there. That's what you're thinking. Like, oh, it's been a long time. What are they going to think now? Well, I think I think what they're going to think is, thank God we're we reconnected. Thank God we're back together again. That's what I think. Also, the page of cups talks about yourself, your inner child. Um, you know, sometimes it's, especially if you dealt with the Ten of Swords, learning to love yourself again and learning to love yourself again means that, listen, you can always say no to love. It's up to you, right? The ball is always put in your court, but look what she's holding or looks like the fool actually. So if the fool is about taking a leap of faith, but it's holding a cup. This king is offering a cup. Here is the cup. And now the page is holding the cup. You know, I feel like, why go any further? Why go any further? I feel like everything that wanted to come out came out. Um, I find it quite beautiful, except for that Ten of Swords. But... This is energy that if I think about it, you know, I may understand that, again, I may have been in a repeat pattern with someone. Um, and, you know, there may have been reasons, again, but sometimes I feel like we got to be willing to, well, you do have to be willing to end that. And, you know, you never know. This person may come in before you even end that. And that may help you, like, say, adios to someone for good. Because, again, that ball's in your court. Sue's on the bottom of the deck, the moon. So we have both the feminine and the masculine on the table. Some of you could be twin flame. Um, though... You know, I always get mad at myself when I say that because in a way, I'd rather you just not put a title on it, even though it is talking about soulmates. It's talking about two people who really are on the same vibration. I mean, they're looking eye to eye. There's nothing to hide. They're both holding a cup. Both of them. And again, the soulmates is coming right over, calling in your soulmate. So if you don't think your affirmations, your prayers are being heard, think again. So the moon, um, card of Pisces, ruler of cancer, you know, it can talk about uncertainties. And if that's part of it, like, ah, uh, I still carry a little fear, then take it slow. If you choose. Just step into it, kind of like the fool, right? I'm just going to step into it. But yet, I feel like just stepping into it gets everything moving quite quickly because you're just destined. You know, that doesn't promise you that you'll be together because 
you do have free will. And I feel like that's what the Seven of Cups is saying. You know, but it's just time. It feels like it's your time. It's your time. And it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Ten of Swords is the lowest energy. And everything else on the board is of high energy, high vibrational energy. You are calling in a soulmate. Your spirit guides are listening. They're saying this is time. It's the time for this. This is true love. It's happening soon. It's happening soon. And it does feel like it's something for the majority of you, something that you have been thinking about. Again, it's your affirmations and theirs that I feel like, and, and I, because I feel like both are probably thinking of each other. Now, does it have to be someone in this lifetime? It doesn't have to be. It could be a past life energy also. I mean, I could definitely see that. Um, but also, it's just, it's just being open, knowing that it's safe for you to love. Again, your guide just saying, my dear, if you have fear, then trust us. Because if there is anything you need to be worried about, we'll send the signs before that. We will send you the signs. All right, let's take Mother Mary over the majority of a beautiful reading. You know, I do feel like for some of you, well, for all of you, I feel like you know this person. You know them on a soul level. And some of you, again, connected in this lifetime. But some of you maybe haven't met each other yet, but you're going to recognize, you're going to feel each other's energy. It's almost like you're going to know that they're your soulmate. The chemistry. That's what feels like the clue. Okay. All right, let's bring Mother Mary over this reading. I mean, I couldn't have asked for anything better, to be honest. I guess the only thing better I could have asked for is that the Ten of Swords not be there. But that's life. That's real life. However, what's coming under that is your spirit guide saying... We will send you the red flags if need be. Quiet. Quiet. I go into peaceful silence and I listen. That's you trusting your guides. That's you opening up your intuition. And that's you receiving guidance. Especially... You know, let's say you're dealing with any chaotic type energy. Then it may be important for like just to, you know, go into a moment of solitude and talk to your guides. Okay, well, I knew I wasn't done yet, but wow. So we're going to take what's face up first. We have integrity. I trust my ability to know what is true for me. Interesting, right next to quiet. I go into peaceful silence and I listen. And then I trust my ability to know what is true for me. Look at that truth. I am lovingly honest with myself and others. Jesus. Some of you have been praying to God. And this means your prayers are being heard. Not only heard, but answered. I pray for Jesus' help and guidance with this situation. And last but not least, family. I pray for my family and give this situation over to God for answers, support, and healing. That to me, feels like it's tying back to the Ten of Swords and finances and career. Some of you, I feel like you already know that you want to make this cut, this split. 
um, you know that, you know, first of all, I feel like chances are your vibration is lifting. And when your vibration lifts, it's very hard to be with anyone who has a lower vibrational energy. It just is. Because it's like, we see it. We see it. Like, you can't hide it from us. We see it, especially with the sun, is, with the sun here. Some of you, this may talk about blended families also. You know, if that's a worry, why well, have kids? How do I know that someone's going to accept not only me, but my family, my kids? Well, because you're, you're a package deal. And this type of energy, there's no way they would deny you because of that. If anything, I feel like they would love your kids and you'll probably love theirs if it's a blended family. Some of you, this could be someone that you are starting a family with. But truth, I'm lovingly honest with myself and others. You know, in the Ten of Swords, I don't have to be mean. I don't have to yell. I could just simply say, I, I understand what's going on now and enough is enough. I know I deserve better. And therefore, you got to go. Hit the road, Jack. And to me, that's the perfect energy to then open up all of this beauty. You know, the moon, yes, can stand for uncertainty, but it's also very dreamy type energy. See what's under it. The nine of cups. Well, that's inner harmony and it's fulfillment of wishes. Well, definitely one wish is coming true here, but. I love that you have this inner harmony first. So some of you, you know, you're becoming single. And that may be like the time when the wheel's like, okay, it's time to move. She's single. He's single. You know, it's like a symbol to the universe that, you know, and in the Nine of Cups, it doesn't even have to mean I'm looking for love. It just means I'm starting to enjoy my life again, especially if you're someone who's been dealing with those 10 swords. I'm starting to enjoy my life again. But I love the fact that this is about finding that inner harmony, you know, using the power of prayer, but also then listening, because I definitely feel that you're being guided. You're being guided to what feels like the highest energy of all in love and remember what i said this is nothing but love all love that's all i wanted to know was about love i couldn't have asked for anything better to come out honestly i couldn't have asked and you know when i do certain readings um because i felt guided to do this reading Sometimes I feel like, oh, I'm tired of, well, I'm not tired of talking about love, but I feel like sometimes you may be tired of me talking about love. Something told me to do this reading. So I do trust my own intuition um, and I trust my guides. So one more time, true love, the very first card that has destiny right over it. That's mirrored by chemistry. And then this king literally has a cup in his hand. And then the cup shows. And it's saying very soon. But it's asking you to decide. Right? Decide what it is that you want so that it can come to you. Do you still want those ten swords? Or do you want better? The ball is put in your court. But because now we have the ace of wands, I feel like this is action time. It means that you're following your inspired signs. And then the sun, everything will be clear. You know, so if like energy comes towards you, but it's like hazy and fuzzy. Well, I can't necessarily say that maybe I should take a moment and just clear my own energy. Um, but the sun to me is not only confirmation but also comfort to let you know that you don't have to worry that there's going to be things done against you because again, you know, and the sun's mirroring that ten of swords. So 
it's going to be very hard for me to deny that. You know, if I've been in a repeat pattern with someone or if I just keep allowing someone to put daggers in me because that's what I'm doing in the Ten of Swords. I'm allowing it. I'm allowing it. And I don't feel like the person who's putting the swords in you, I feel like they're like, what? What? What am I doing? What are you doing? I'll tell you what you're doing. You're leaving. That's what you're doing. You're leaving. Because I have other dreams, right? I want to start living life according to my heart, to my dreams. You're calling in your soulmate and your soulmate arise. I mean, hello. What I think about, I bring about. Even in the hardest of times, there may have been someone in your heart. And, you know, I will never leave out that it can, that it may be someone you already know, because that is my life story. And I do a lot of personal readings, and um, I find that in personal readings, too. So I know it can be the fact. But I also want you to keep your mind open that it can talk about also past lives. Now, chances are you have spent past lives together, even if you already know this person. Um, but I um, am getting that that feeling that some of you do know who this person is, and there probably has been quite a bit of time, and that may be one of the fears. Like, are they going to love me the way I am now? The answer is yes, because it just feels like it's meant to be. It's not a guarantee that it will be. You have to make that decision. But this king, he's got that cup out. Here is that cup. Turns into the two of cups. And then literally, the page is holding the cup. Amen. Amen. It is safe for you to love. Don't allow people who have no problem putting daggers in you you know, treat you badly. Don't allow them to have a say in how your future is going to look like. Or You know what I mean? Trust your guides. You know, I feel like this means that you can find the strength if you truly want to. That nine of cups, that inner harmony, I feel like that's exactly what someone really needs. And it may mean I need to be single. I need to be on my own. But that Nine of Cups is also about fulfillment of wishes. Well, we have the wish card right here. All right. I'm going to let that be. I just find this beautiful. And I thank my guides. And I thank your guides. And I thank you. I love you guys. Um, you know, I don't want to give false hope. That's the one thing I don't want to do. So I really want you to recognize, you know, again, the red flags, the ten of swords. You know, why, why am I still in that type of energy? Um, that's real life. And is it something I want to continue with? I feel like I can try to make someone love me the way I want loved, but maybe they just don't know how. This soulmate knows how. This soulmate is your true love. This soulmate sits upon your wheel. And it is unconditional love. Period. I love you guys. I thank you. I thank you for just allowing me to do these readings. You know what I mean? Like, whatever comes to me, like, my gut tells me, okay, you're doing a love reading today. So therefore, I do a love reading. So I thank you for just allowing me to, I don't know, do what comes to my soul. I love you. I thank you. And I'll see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.